Now, to open the box. As you can see, I already cut it open. So, let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? Oh, very particular shape. Oh, yeah, the answer's right here, isn't it? But, let's see, let's open it. Oh, oh, it's hard to get. Oh, oh, yeah. What a piece of beauty, this box. It's really actually well sculpted, really, no. This is a really good box. I am surprised. I have been waiting for this moment a long time. GMK is a film directed by Kaneko Shusuke, famous for a certain other trilogy. Such great designs from that trilogy are directly translated to, to the Godzilla film here as Godzilla receives one of the best designs in the millennium period. When initially viewing the design, I wasn't really a fan of it due to the disproportionate dorsal plates, blank zombie-esque eyes, a bulging stomach, and a turtleneck. However, as time passed, design grew on me, especially as the horde design supports the message that Godzilla is a metaphor for war and regarding the newer generation forgetting their past history. Now remember kids, if you want people to learn their history and not forget it, you just have to send a 50 foot ki killer monster to your city and kill those people. But, uh, that's fucked up. But then again, great entertainment. Now between you and me, uh, point to know is that when coming to Korea, I wouldn't recommend coming to Korea especially in the Nihon Daisuke manner or asking Koreans, especially the older generation on their thoughts on Japan because I'm gonna, I'm gonna promise you this it's gonna be a fucking clusterfuck don't get me wrong now when looking at the figure here this is very intricately detailed Especially the skin as, instead of the black all black skin that's seen in certain other Godzilla SH monster arts, the one over here, this one over here, is covered in a very charcoal-esque gray or black, if I can say it. Because this isn't complete black, but it's actually riddled with some, how should I say it, uh, cement charcoal shades of gray. So this actually does differentiate itself from the other SH Monster Arts. Another point to note is that the dorsal plates are very well painted and detailed. Now, as I stated before, I wasn't initially a fan of the dorsal plates due to disproportionate nature. But you know, as time passed, I, I love them now, especially after receiving this figure. This figure made me like the design overall. Yeah, that's saying a lot about this figure. As you can see, basically the dorsal plates are very well sculpted. Nothing is too out of the norm, well, for the most part. And the paint job here, especially as this is the re-release, is fantastic as there are two shades of separate paint jobs. The first top part is a very silver blue, a combination of silver and blue-esque, or white, if maybe, yeah. As blue that makes this stand out, intricately resemble when Godzilla is about to fire his atomic breath, while the lower parts of the dorsal plates are covered in a very turquoise sky blue paint job, thus making it more, how should I say it, Godzilla about to fire his atomic breath. However, the same cannot be said about the dorsal plates in the tail, as they are just colored in the, your run-of-the-mill concrete gray, so... It is kind of disappointing, especially with the paint job here being this fantastic, but, you know, what can I say? Still, the paint job here, oh my goodness, you know, this was a premium Bandai release, that premium is worth it. Now, going into my favorite part of the figure is the head. As, you know, besides your charcoal gray or black, excuse me. 
I have to recharge my phone. Uh, let's begin again. Uh, the teeth, the eyes are here, are very actually well sculpted and, well, sculpting, I uh, can't say it's really well sculpted, but really well painted. Because instead of your all-out white, which does have two effects. One, it can be very scary due to lack of pupils, or second, it has those goofy fish eyes that make it kind of silly. Now, if you're going for the horrid scary look, great, but if you, you know, how should I say, screw up, it's gonna be those goofy fishy eyes, so I appreciate... Besides the eyes, the teeth are very well sculpted and painted, as besides those fangs in our teeth that, you know, resemble your other Godzillas, while also retaining that, how should I say, the teeth that didn't really get brushed or cleansed for about three to five years. If you open its mouth, fantastic color separation. This would make Plot Real Greats very proud. You know, unlike the 2021 Godzilla, which very amusingly had fucked it up with a paint blotch, the GMK Godzilla over here doesn't, as each part is very well separated and intricately, what do you call, inserted. The colors are very well inserted onto each part, especially when it comes to the tongue, the teeth, alongside the upper parts of the, what do you call, the mouth. When looking at articulation, this guy doesn't fare that well. Well, this is actually to be expected, especially regarding that this is a re-release of a previous early SH Monster Arts one. As I believe the original GMK Godzilla was released in 2016 or 17, if I can recall. In doing so, the articulation is very limited. The head can only move... Uh, yeah, this is... The, I can't even say it can only move up and down. Uh, left and right, no. It can turn very little. Actually, quite a lot if you really want to stretch it, but... Just hear the sound. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. The neck... <laughs> Good luck with that. The arms are actually pretty decent. These can uh, move, a, you know, 360. Not saying it's the best, but you know, it's pretty decent. And this can move up. Oh, another bicep swivel. And a 90 degrees bend. A 90 degrees bend, this is not. I'll show you that. And the hands can move a 360. You know, but for an arm, especially for SH Monster Arts, it's decent. The legs, uh... <laughs> they can move, but just hear the sound. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to fuck up my figure, so no. The knees, 90 degrees bend, this is not. Oh, this is the first time this happened. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, now after fixing my figure, uh, the legs, uh, the legs, not sorry, the feet can move, uh, left and right a little, up and down, this cannot. Now, oh, point to note. And now, for the fun part. <laughs> <sighs> oh, oh, can't hold it back, can't hold it back, oh, oh, fuck, I broke it, oh, shh. Oh, that killed the mood. <sighs> the fuck's wrong with my life? I need help. <sighs> Will you be my friend? Tail is magnificent. Just move it, the diverse... <sighs> uh... Retract that magnificent. Oh, Jesus. This is not magnificent. This is... Uh, it falls off. Well, I want to say easily, but, you know. It's better than Kong's legs or anything, but still. But, you know, like, the, when it comes to range of movement, it is great. Oh, also another point that is great. The tail can stand up by itself. You know, I can't say... Especially regarding the 2021 version of Godzilla, which... Man... Four to five years, and they still actually they made it worse. That's saying a lot. Let's be honest here. So you know, articulation-wise, 
this guy it's decent for a monster arts uh, if you want to compare him to a gunpla or a figure arts uh, this guy's shit but you know, for monster arts this is actually pretty decent when it comes to accessories GMK Godzilla here comes with When it comes to size, this is actually very surprising as I expected this SH Monster Arts to be, you know, very small, but compared to Monster Arts or even Figure Arts actually, it is really big. Here's the GMK Godzilla over here, next to High Grade Gunpla, other SH Monster Arts, and Figma figures. And if you really want to know the size, the DX Dyn and Xenon. Definitely purchase him. If you can, buy him used. Buy him used or new, whatever you want. Just if you can purchase him, do it. I recommend it. Really, I would. Like, this is a crucial SH Monster Arts to have in your collection. And you know, if this is your first SH Monster Arts, you have some good taste, I'll assure you that. This video is brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you. So I don't ask for your help. I beg for it! On what you might ask? This. And this. Please. I beg you.